All right, let's move on to other MMA news. So, how do we start this one off? John Jones was twerking, uh, chirping up on Twitter. Twerking? John Twer- Jones twerking was twerking. In the club. He was Goodness hammered. Gracious. hammered I would have never thunk that. Yeah, <laughs> hammered drunk. No, uh, he went on Twitter, and this is kind of sad because he's like, my wife just, uh, my wife left me about two months ago, and she just told me today that she's not coming back. If you're a John Jones hater, be happy because I feel like that was his tweet. Yeah. He did delete this very soon. He needs the PR guy. He, no, he, he, he really needs a PR guy. No, he, yeah, no, I agree. He, he needs, needs help. One, what, but he needs a PR guy. What he needs is to give up all of his social media as to a PR guy. I, mm-hmm. I completely agree. Um, because like, John, you're putting yourself in a position to be ridiculed. You're putting yourself in a position to, to have a lot of unnecessary hate come your way. Look, there are, there are some problems with John. We all know this historically, uh, you know, the multiple at car accidents, the drug problems, the picograms, uh, the alleged abuse of his fiance in a hotel room, which is alleged because we do not know exactly what happened. So we have but to, we've no, seen the video. No. But we have to be careful on that. It, it's it still, was it's, alleged. There was no. Alleged. There was no. There was no. Uh, what do you, What would you call it? Charges. There's pressed. no charges. Yes. So that's why you have to say that. So, um, but you know, all the things that John Jones is, and then like to go out there and tweet something like that. Like you know, you're gonna get the hate, bro. Like you know, people are gonna say it's the internet. Like people hide behind a Facebook profile or a Twitter profile. They feel like it's not really them, and they can say just horrific and terrible things to you. Uh. But you know, like you don't. I'm trying to. I'm trying to dance around this delicately because, like, we do have to have respect because they are human beings still. But I just. I mean, the, all the mistakes John Jones has made, and like, obviously, with this alleged abuse that that took place. Like, what? Like, are, are you trying to garner my sympathy because you're not going to get it? If anything, I'm sympathetic towards your fiance. Yeah. That she had to go through all this because you refused to get help and treatment. Uh, so like, you're not, if anything, like I'm sympathetic towards your wife and your children because they're put in a very, very hard spot. And so that's who I'm sympathetic for because I can't be sympathetic to a guy who continues to mess up and doesn't get the help that he properly needs. Never takes accountability or never, like never once did he ever come out and go, I fucked up. Yep. Like he already has this terrible public image, terrible public image. Just take some accountability, my guy. Yeah. Like that, that, I think that would do much better work for you in the end if you just took a little bit of accountability. But it doesn't come because it's John Jones. Right. And he's a narcissist. He's he an egomaniac. A it's just this is the guy we know. And he always has been this guy. And it's unfortunate because I don't want to sit here and week after week shit on this man. No, because like, it, it, it's like we, we have been and we have to because yeah. – he almost deserves it, man. Like, eventually, you just can't... Like you said, man, I just have no sympathy for him. Yeah, I, I have none. I mean, but here's the thing. Like, I, I never count anyone out, and, like, I'm full of second chances and third and fourth and 11th chances. Yeah, it's too uh, many. Which is... Which is but, but, like, I legitimately do root for John to, to get better, to be a better person, and to continue on this great legacy that he's on as a mixed martial artist. Uh, I'm not rooting against them. Never have, never will. I won't root against anyone if they're trying to better their lives and become a better person, but you have to show. You have to show it. You have to do it. And uh, hopefully this is the wake-up call. I know we have said this (laughs) for the last 10 years. (laughs) Too many times. uh, But I hope this is the wake-up call that he needs and and kind of that slap back to reality where he's like, wow, I lost my wife or my fiance, whatever. Uh, now now the kids are in a weird spot. Now I, I need to get some help. I need to turn things around because I'm rooting for him. I am rooting for John. As many times as he's screwed up, as many times as he has made me so mad that I don't even want to talk about him, I still wish the best for the guy, man. And anyone put in any situation, like, you can turn it around, but you have to actually, like, show that you're a new man. Yeah. You know? Yeah, and he just hasn't done it. Yeah. And it sucks. And of course, all the haters came out on Twitter as well. Colby Covington, the biggest one, came out and he's like, so you finally knocked some sense into her, I see. Oh, Oh, man. He goes, congratulations, my guy. She finally finally smartened up. And then, of course, he leaked this DM, dude. Now, is this confirmed? Did (laughs) he actually do this? That was him, yes. That was actually him. It wasn't like a Photoshop? No, it was not. He leaked his DM to John Jones on Instagram. He DM'd them and said, hey, John, I know I talk shit on social media. And, you know, I just want you to know 
I, uh, whatever the social media's posts are, I, I want you to do good, and I'm rooting for you, and I hope everything's okay, man. And John Jones replies, <laughs> worst decision he could have ever made. He replies, you know what, man? Thank you so much. I really do appreciate that. <laughs> and then Colby chirps right back up. Ha, you really thought I felt bad for you, you stupid piece of shit? Fuck you. And he goes, I just took this, and it looks just like you. And he sent him a picture of a long turd coming, coming out, out of, of an ass. Yeah. <laughs> and, right on, and he goes, this looks just like you. Oh my God. Hilarious. I'm going to say it was funny, but like Jesus Christ, way to kick a man while he's w- way down. Okay. <laughs> like, so Jesus. like on the side of Colby there, Colby is the heel. He, he has took this, this persona and he has maximized it to its full potential. He's learned a lot from uncle Chael yeah. and what he did with whole Anderson Silva. This is how you promote yourself, Mm -hmm. okay? If you want to promote yourself, if you're a wrestler like Colby was, they were thinking about cutting Colby Covington from the UFC. He had to change his persona up. And and doing something like this is perfect because it's getting everyone to talk about it, to laugh about it, to enjoy it. And uh, that's just what Colby Covington does. We got to accept it now. And Mm -hmm. I got to be honest, I don't like kicking a guy when he's down. Like, it is sad and it sucks, you know, the whole situation with the kids and everything. But... It was pretty fucking funny. It was pretty funny. It was pretty funny. I'm not gonna lie. I was laughing. It, it was it was funny. Yeah. Um yeah, shout out to John Jones. Nah, don't shout out him out. You know, he's he needs to get his life together, bro. I don't know how many fucking times we've said that. Like just just work your shit out, dude. Come back, fight for fight for a heavyweight championship belt. That's all anybody wants to see. Focus all of this rage into the gym, man. Yeah. It just, it's what he needs to do. Uh, I, Cosmo I just, said Colby has no chill when it comes to public communication. No, yep. he doesn't. Zero no, he chill. Doesn't. <laughs> but you know what? I genuinely hope, John, uh, I hope this wake up call and I hope he gets help. That's, yeah. I'll leave it at that. Yeah.